My name is Jonathan Bailey. I'm Director of Conservation Programs at the Zoological Society of London. I was among the group that helped start the EDGE program. Well, what we do is we identify species that we want to focus conservation attention on. Species receiving little or no conservation attention and they're different from everything else on the planet. Golden rumped elephant shrew or the long-eared jaboa or the selenodon. They represent millions and millions of years of independent evolutionary history. And if they're lost, there's some, simply nothing left similar to them on the planet. I've been on a number of uh, expeditions looking for these one-of-a-kind species on the verge of extinction. To see a long-eared jaboa for the first time, a species that's the size of a mouse but hops like a kangaroo, it has, it has enormous ears like an elephant. Finding an area where a long-beaked echidna, an Attenborough's echidna, had been feeding in the ground. To know that this species is still alive when it was thought to potentially be extinct is just an amazing feeling. We've done some recent studies which have shown that about 20% of the world's vertebrates are threatened with extinction. We also know that since 1970, we've seen declines of about 30% in the world's vertebrate populations. And these are not good signs. And as we move into the future, we see that these threat processes are increasing and that the threat rates will likely continue to increase unless we do something dramatic now. We tend to really focus on things that we know are going to impact us directly, things like our health. So climate change, for example, can make sense to people because it's a simple, single issue that has direct impacts on us in the immediate future. People have a harder time understanding the relationship between species and ecosystems in their own lives, even though that we're completely dependent on them. Biodiversity really means life. So it's genes, it's species, it's ecosystems, and basically, Genes make up species, and species make up ecosystems, and society is dependent on ecosystems for survival itself. And we think we can bring a whole community of people that care and love animals and engage them with people that are actually doing conservation on the ground. We want to have training programs in Africa, we want to have training programs in Asia. We identify leaders in different countries, and we help provide them with the tools and the training they need to effectively conserve these species. People can support EDGE in numerous ways. The first thing is to really get involved, to understand what these creatures are, to get everyone else excited about them, because if society doesn't care about these species, then simply they won't be conserved. So that's the first thing. Secondly, people can figure out, you have to think about what your talents are and what you can do. So we had somebody who was into fashion and they developed a fashion show around EDGE species. If you're into gaming, we could make computer games around EDGE species. We want to use every talent to make people interact with these amazing creatures. I never really had a choice. I tried to do banking for a little while and, and I found it interesting, but um, for me, I'm just so obsessed with the natural world and I enjoy being surrounded by all forms of life. And I want to ensure that that's there for my children and their children.